If you want your Horizon Zero Dawn FPS go from here to here without HUD or UI flickering, stick around. The previous upscaling method had ghosting issues. Even though the frame generation works, the ghosting issue was a headache because there are a lot of UI in this game. So now we have a working method and it's working really good. Make sure to like and subscribe. Help me to get 2k subs at the end of this year. For this, you'll need the uh, latest version of OctiScaler. Download this using the link in the description. Then go to your game installation location where the game exe is located. Open your OptiScaler file and extract everything into your Horizon folder. Like in the previous video, this is a very important step. Rename the nvngx.dll file that we copy as dxgi.dll. If you are using Linux, there is some extra steps you must do. You can find them on OptiScaler GitHub page. After that, find nvngx underscore dlss.dll file and copy and paste it in the same folder and rename that file as nvngx.dll. Don't mix things up, otherwise the game will crash or not launch at all. Then go to the DLSS overrides folder and run this enable signature override registry file. Alright, now we can open the game. Now when you go to your settings, you will see that DLSS option is available. And I am running the game on maximum settings. When you press insert key on your keyboard, you will get this menu. With DLSS, I'm getting about 52 FPS. And if I put this to FSR 3.1, you can see I get 70 FPS. That's a huge difference. So for me, again, FSR 2.3.2 and FSR 3.1 combo gives me the best FPS and quality. When I turn on frame generation, you see I get about 100 FPS. You don't have to choose the uh, hard fix, it's already working. The game is pretty smooth, pretty playable, low input lag and this is with maximum settings. So you can use frame generation with DLSS and XCSS as well. If you want more FPS, tick this FG allow async option. You will get extra 5 to 10 FPS, depend on your hardware. And don't enable FG allow async option with hard fix. The game may crash. So let's say you want to upgrade your DLSS version. The game uses DLSS version 2.3.5. The latest version I think is 3.7.2. And if you want to upgrade to that, I don't know what benefit it gives, but some users say when they use the latest version, it has a clear image and they got some FPS boost as well. Go to your file location, uh, download this file using the link in the description. Say you don't want the mod, just the latest DLSS version. Remove everything that we copied before and you can just replace the latest file with the in-game file. If you want to use the latest DLSS with the frame generation mode, first you need to back up your old DLSS file, in case something goes wrong. So we need to delete these two files. This step only applies if you want to use the frame gen mode with the latest DLSS. Put your latest DLSS file into the game folder. As before, do the same renaming steps to the nvngx underscore DLSS DLL file. Copy this file. Paste it here and rename it as nvngx.dll. When you open the mod menu, you can see the DLSS version is 3.7.2, the latest version. And you can use frame duration with it too. It's kinda smooth than before, maybe placebo, I don't know. So that's it. If you want to remove the latest DLSS file, just delete the file that we copied and copy the backed up file to the game location again. That's it. So leave a like and subscribe. Until next video, adios amigos.